Hi guys, Peter Finch here and welcome now to Whitefield Golf Club and we're going to be doing an eight hole video. It should have been nine, but someone, who knows who, um, didn't really record the first one properly. But anyway, we're on the 11th hole here and the whole point of this vlog is it's going to be an irons only. So the driver and the woods are staying in the bag. This is all about how I can manage to shoot a round level par with only my irons and my wedges and my putter. Whitefield isn't the longest course, but it's tight, it is tricky and there are a few longer holes on this back nine that I'm going on to. This next hole here, the 11th, par three, 185 yards. As always, guys, on these vlogs, we're gonna incorporate some coaching, hopefully stuff that you can put into your game as well. On these solo vlogs, it allows me that little bit more time to do that. I've got a five iron. Uh, the wind is, well, there's no wind touching the flag, but from the last hole, I know when you get above the trees, it's going a little bit left to right. So I'm gonna be aiming basically left center of the green, and if it fades a bit with the wind, so be it. We'll stay. That's looking pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Just right center of the green. Don't know what else to say about that. Right, birdie chance. I think it's going to move a little bit off to the right near the end as it starts to die. It's tricky though. It's in like a little bit of a depression there. Now move. Now move. Oh, it did. Just not quite as much as I thought it would do, but par to begin with. Next hole. What a hole this is, a <laughs> 12 hole, par five, straight down and uphill. Now normally, I, I don't know if I even would use a driver on this one. Look how tight it is. So, so tight, but it's onto the driving iron. Hopefully a couple of these might get me home. It's 472 yards, but I think with this wind, it's more like they're going to be a couple of these and a wedge. Well, they ain't going to get too much more in the middle of the fairway than that. Okay, so it's not impossible, but I'm going to have to hit kind of a low drawing driving iron, and that is something which is difficult for me at the moment. With the swing changes I'm trying to make, trying to get everything turning a little bit more left to shallow as well, it's not always easy to do. However, now is the moment. This is the time. Should also look great on camera. Oh God, I got the height. Just left of the green. Right then, a little chip up onto the green, hopefully, hopefully to secure a birdie. Doesn't look like it's gonna do much. I've just got a ridge to come over. So I'm gonna have to use my lob waist to carry it past that point. When it's on the green, it looks pretty flat, maybe slightly left to right. So I'm just gonna go three or four inches left of the hole. Got my landing point as well. Ah, it's just pitched a bit too straight. And you know what? I was right. Good chip though, good result. Hopefully, tap that in. I hope this is gonna pick up, guys. I'm going a long way back here. Longish par four, driving iron, 444 yards. Well, I wanted a test. Pulled it big time, wow. Well, not ideal uh, to the left of the hole here, but no massive danger, to be honest. I'm 180 odd yards away. Uh, I'm gonna go with a five iron, pins at the front, so I don't have to absolutely rip this, but I just wanna keep it that, a little bit lower, hopefully. Wind's got it again. Hold on there. I think it might be left bunker, I think. So I've only got a very short shot here out of the bunker. It's just, I don't know, maybe a yard onto the green, and a little trickle down to the right. Tricky one, this one. Soft ends needed. Oh, I clipped it. Clipped it, damn it. Mr. Tripod. Whew. Right through the legs. <laughs> yeah, disappointing that. I really need to improve my bunker play. My bunker play at one point was probably my strongest point in my game. Just drifted slightly. Need to get on top of that. Put your phone off vibrate. Par five, round the corner to the right hand side. Bit of a dog leg. It's 510 yards, I think. So it's going to do well to get home in two. The wind is always changing. It, it kind of feels down and left now. 
Hope so. Now that should be amazing. Just fading as well. Well, I was correct on two counts, guys. I've hit a great one and the wind is slightly down in from the left. So I've only got 220 left in. So that's a good 270 yards. However, a good driving iron counts for little without a good approach. So I've got my five iron. The bottom of the pin's actually slightly hidden. Looks like it can be slightly to the left with the ground. So I'm gonna aim this just right of the pin. Hope for a good bounce and roll in a eagle. Oh, thin that. Actually work out well there. I mean, I've hit that just how I wanted to. <laughs> so I didn't completely look out, but yeah, pretty close. Just to the right of the green. Um, pretty simple chip and run. This should hopefully get me back under par with a chip and a putt. But I've got to be honest, I should be looking to hold this, I think. It's got a chance, it's got a chance. So like I said, I've already done a scramble test video um, on the front nine. And honestly, they help so much. This will be slightly tougher. Uh, 415 yards back into wind. Looks like a dog's like slightly to the right hand side. So left hand side of the fairway is a must. Just gonna try and get that low one going. Ah, no, Pete. Left-hand semi. Awful strike. I've not ended up too bad, actually, with that toey hook. It's carried a fair distance, and I've got about 190 left in. The wind seems to be dying around the flag. There doesn't really seem to be much going on. It's slightly downhill, so I'm going to go five iron. The gap just to the right, or the gap in between the bushes that you can see, the hawthorn bushes there, that's my line. The pin is slightly to the left of those. So, again, just going to try and keep it a little bit low actually try and execute that shot this time. Well, it's not as low as I would have wanted, but it's come down pretty much bang on the line I wanted. So hopefully that should be all right. Not quite what I'd hoped for, Miss Club and Miss Flight, uh, probably overall, but it leaves me, again, a relatively simple chip. Can I hold two in a row? Maybe. Well, that's not the best chip I've ever executed in my life, if I'm going to be honest with you. It's a pretty poor strike, but it does leave me an uphill putt for a par. Oh, that'll do. 420 yards, this. Um, downwind, which is good. Or right to left, which for me isn't great at the moment. Any broken tees? Yeah, so these are freshy. However, what it should allow me to do is because it's so downwind, well, so downwind, downwind, I should be able to cut quite a lot of the corner off, even using this, um, considering my last one downwind went 270. I think it should be pretty good. I just don't want to lose it left, so it's got to be a good strike. That is as straight as an arrow. Has it got the carry for everything? Who needs a driver? Sit down. So far on this back nine, I've not really missed my driver, to be honest. One hole where I really could have done with it, but apart from that, not really too much. And obviously being a couple under par, that's probably testament to the fact that using the driving nine, keeping it in play, even when I've hit my bad shot, is of a real benefit. It's going to be interesting to see what my strokes gained are by the end of this. But the one thing to say here is, yes, this is 420, but it is downwind and it's playing hard. so. Certainly on a different day and on a longer course, maybe it wouldn't be yeah, as amenable. Maybe it wouldn't be as successful. Literally could not have placed that any better. Just over 150 to go from the marker here, but the pin's at the front. So I'm going to say about 145, 145, and then I'm going to go my pitching wedge straight down it, no mess. Oh, damn. A little bit disappointing that. However, my bad shot generally, as I'm working my way through these swing changes, is a pull. Um, and that gives it a little bit more of a controllable aspect. If I was losing it, losing it left and right, then I'd probably be a little bit more worried. But as I'm only hitting it left when I've hit it poorly, 
you know what there's worse places to be i think especially on that shot there all right 54 come on good chip again here it's gonna go right to left i think it's gonna pitch you about a quarter of the way go all the way onto the green i know what i mean come on it's gone a little bit further right than i wanted but actually yeah i wouldn't have ended up too bad Hard hole to judge 17. It's a beautiful looking, beautiful looking par three. It's 190 yards downhill, wind slightly helping off the right. So it's a tricky one to judge, but I'm going to go with a six iron. Um, aim it pretty much at the center of the green. Uh, the pin is slightly left. So if it does drift back, then great. Um, but if not, if the clubbing's right, it should leave me central. That's the big hope anyway. Go on then, wind. Come on, help it. It's just coming back now. Yeah, centre of the green. It's pretty much where I was aiming. It started out slightly further right than I wanted, but it's ended up great. <laughs> Can't complain hitting the green on this hole. Not sure if the audio is going to pick up all the way from down here, but looks good, doesn't it? That's the main. Oh, Pete. It's downhill, not down a mountain. Oh, oh well, not bad par putt in the end. Energy levels are starting to flag a little bit. That wasn't a very good first putt. Concentration levels are dipping, so I need to get this last hole. Some of my last reserves of strength is 406 yards, it's like I'm lifting a truck or something. It's 406 yards straight up the hill. Um, there's no marker post. I played here once, like I said, a long time ago. So I'm just gonna go straight down the center stripe. Uh, well, that's what I'm aiming for anyway. Um, but back into wind, obviously this needs to be a good strike. Slightly necky that. Just a little bit necky. I think with the wind being into and off the right, that probably helped it. I think otherwise that might have been in the trees. <sighs> not ideal, uh, <laughs> but it's not in the tree, so that's a bonus. The pin is basically there, so I've got to hit a low fade into wind and off the right so i still 200 plus yards to go even with my driving iron if i get there i'll be doing really well i just want to get this to within about 50 60 yards of the green that gives me a chance to get up and down remember i only need i only need a bogey to be under par which is what i'm looking for so hey ho tally ho let's go so we're going to be aiming pretty much at the left tree last left tree just visualizing that low shot Ball position is back in my stance. Hands ahead, just trying to keep it low. Just trying to get a punch sliced. Fade a wee bit more for me. And I think I could have done with actually hitting those trees. It's gone through them. Not sure how that's going to lead me for my uh, approach to the green there. At least I'll make it easy for myself. <laughs> I've got to keep it under those trees and get it over that bunker. Lie is all right. So I'm going to put my lob wedge slightly further back in my stance. And I'm just going to try and pitch it in and around the fringe on line with the pin. Up and down. Come on, two under. Pete. Oh, Pete. Cardinal, cardinal sin that. Well, good thing is it's come out of its mark. But it does mean a bunker shot up and down to be on the par. Come on, come on, get your head in the guy. Smashed it through. Well, how disappointing is that? How disappointing is that? Ah well, <laughs> as an experiment goes, actually pleasantly pleased. I mean, there was a couple of bad mistakes on that last hole, but apart from that, actually managed my game pretty well. Some good chip shots, some really good putts as well, which helped. And apart from that, yeah, I didn't really put myself in too much trouble. So it's something that I need to experiment more with and I want you guys to experiment with as well. You know, sometimes just leaving the driver out of the bag, leaving the three wood out of the bag, you know, can it help? Can you actually have a better score? 
because apart from that last one, I was on for a good one. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like the video and share it around if you want to. Comment below, have you ever done a round like this where you've just taken the driver completely out of the bag? And what were your results? I would love to know. Thank you, Whitefield, for having us down. It's been a beautiful, beautiful day. Some great par threes on this course, there really are. And I will see you down next time, guys. Ah. <laughs>